Well, welcome back to Marriage Beyond the Veil. So, I have a question for you. So, okay. there's a commercial that I absolutely love. Okay. So, it's a fresh pet commercial. Okay. <laughs> and so, um, he's cooking dinner for his date. And then she goes in and she's talking about dog food. <laughs> and the refrigerator. <laughs> and he says no. And, and he gets upset. And then, uh, next thing you know, she's gone. And he's sitting on the floor eating. And the dog's eating his fresh pet. Mm -hmm. And he says, what do you say? I should have paid attention, attention to what you said. Like, you, you were right. You were right. Yeah, you were right. So, I think back to <laughs> oh one of your dates that came home when we were cohabitating. And um, the dog did not like... Winky. Winky did not like him at all. I mean, he growled. He snapped. He actually bit you. When you were trying to, to keep, keep him, him from, from biting, biting the guy. Mm -hmm. So, my question to you is, is the fact, because you have two dogs. You got, um, uh, shoot, and I said Winky, Lord Jesus. Prince, Prince and Jackson. Jackson. And so, the fact that you have those two, does your person in your life have to love dogs and do they have to get along with your dogs would that be a deal breaker in terms of you know a relationship oh uh, yeah because i've had them longer <laughs> um yeah uh, for me I, mm -hmm. yeah it would be i mean and i say this but yeah pretty much it would be it'd be a deal breaker i mean you have to like dogs because they're here now, my dogs don't sleep with me. They sleep in their little crates. They have their own little space. They don't have to lay on the sofa and all that. Mm -hmm. But they're here. Yeah. And so when you come in, they're going to bark. They're going to, you know, they're going to have some sort of interaction with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lock them up every time you come through the door. Right. You know, if you go take a, a shower in my shower or, you know, sleep in my room or something, they're going to be in there. So right. you kind of, kind of sort of have to like dogs. So, yeah, it's a deal breaker for me. Yeah, I think on my profile on Facebook, um, thing there, I said, must love dogs. <laughs> and, I mean, I, I believe that that's a good place to go because, and that's, to me, you know, dogs or your pets or, you know, are very, your family. Mm -hmm. And so, would you give away your children? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you were in a relationship, would you give away your parents if you were in a relationship? If someone doesn't get along with your family, mm -hmm. um, you know, you would really have to consider how immersed that person could be in your life, especially mm -hmm. if you're a person that your family means a lot to you. Now, there's different for people who see their family once a year, yeah, and they're okay with that, mm -hmm. and they have no real intention of ever having this person be a big part of their family life. Right. But um, I know for you, it would definitely have to be someone that could be family oriented cause, or understand the family orientation of our family. Mm -hmm. And let's go back to the whole thing with the pets, though, because I just think this is funny. <laughs> the dog's food is in the refrigerator. Right. She takes it out. Right. Like, I'm thinking. Like, this, like, it's. Like, you won't have to go now because. Right. <laughs> First of all, why are you up in his refrigerator? One, two. Even if he asks you to get something, you don't have the right to go on somebody's refrigerator and say what should be in there and what shouldn't be. Exactly. If you had a shoe in your refrigerator, I'm going to get made cause you for not want to date them. But, I mean, it's their refrigerator. Exactly. So, I was just watching. The whole dynamic of that is hilarious to me. But it just speaks to, you know, if you see something in someone's life that you don't like, be right. careful how you respond. Yes. Yes. You know, and if you know a person has a pet or they have kids, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's like, you know, you go over to somebody's house and you see like little juice boxes, but right. you know, they don't have any kids. Mm -hmm. Are you going to ask them, are you drinking these juice boxes or who are these juice boxes for? <laughs> right. So, I mean, the whole dynamic of that commercial was just funny to me. But I again, it. you know, it's just like, you know, do you accept people who they are and, and their family, their dogs, their birds? I dated someone who had a bird. Yes. Their messiness. Yes. You know, if you um, go into somebody's house and it's a train wreck. And or that's their a neatness. Deal, or their neatness. Or, and that's a deal breaker for you. Well, then that's giving you a clue as to who they are, you know. The king. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yes. yes. So, I, I think, yeah. Must love dogs. Must love my twin <laughs> and my other sisters. How about you? I know Fred loves me. Yes, he does. Sometimes more than me. But anyway, until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same, have a great evening. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>